cattle out to feed Bottles all be broken in the garden where you sleep With thorns that crown your mind Drag you down in time Life has got gotten a lot more in interesting uh, in probably the last three or four months um, since the, the Veg DE uh, TV spot came out on TV and uh, my fan base has been increasing and now that I've been signed by a record label through Germany um, it's a completely different experience to anything that I had experienced in my music before. You can stay, you can stay, you can stay I got out of the shower one day um, when I first came to Germany um, a few months ago and saw it on TV and yeah managed to have my my camera phone there ready to film it just in case and uh, it was it was a crazy feeling very cool when I was independent I got contacted just out of uh, random, total random um, communication with the uh, ad agency that were making the commercial um, and they contacted me and said we like your song, uh, would you like to give us the license to use in this television commercial and I had no idea if it was going to be a, a big television campaign or just a small television campaign um, and it turned out being quite big so um, I was quite happy. I think there's lots of different ways that um, can be really, uh, really beneficial for uh, a musician to get lots of industry uh, recognition and um, through television commercials or having your song on a movie or, or a TV show is, is great because uh, you're reaching out to a fan base um, and also, especially with the television commercial that, that my song is on, it's a, it's a fun, happy uh, commercial trying to sell summer holidays. So I think the, the audience try and um, link my song with the happiness of a summer holiday. When I rise, open my eyes, the morning light defies me. At my, my junior school, we had to um, learn a classical instrument. It was compulsory. Um, and so I didn't get to choose, but the school chose for me to learn violin. And I didn't really like it that much. Um, and my parents kept saying, it's, it's good for you to, to understand music. And it's, it's good to have something um, other than just your studies, like your, your mathematics and your, your science. Um, not that I was any good at, at mathematics or science, but um, so they, they made me do it for um, three or four years and um, I think it was, at the end of the day, it, it was good for me because it gave me a, a great understanding of music and, and an appreciation for classical music and for violin. Try to fight through a long night in a crowded room, strangers. Gravity keeps on pulling me, but it hurts more when I'm dreaming. And you go, when you go, I'll still be waiting. I gave up the violin probably when I was about... 13, 14, and I was always crazy about sport growing up. So I was playing uh, football and Australian rules football and tennis um, and lots of other sports. And then I think it got to, I was about 16 years old and um, my dad had a, um, a nice collection of guitars and I thought maybe I should learn the guitar so I can, um, I can impress my friends and play it at a party and it's a good way to meet people. Um, and these guitars are just sitting around the house, so somebody has to play them when my dad's at work. Uh, so that's how I, I taught myself how to play guitar when I was about 16, and 
Um, from then on, I think it just became more and more of a passion and I began to uh, start writing songs and at the start they were, weren't very good, the songs, but I think I've developed a lot and um, I think that I've improved um, a fair bit since then. A singer-songwriter um, is just obviously somebody that sings their own songs and writes their own songs um, and I think that's important because it gives the audience a, a sense of um, believability, um, believing what the, what the artist is singing about. Chosen place.